Hi, good morning. This is Mark from Blue Poodle Studio. And uh, those that know me know I love my coffee. And uh, I drink quite a bit of it, perhaps more than I should, but it's got its own health benefits, I believe. And uh, in fact, people know that so well that I get a lot of gifts. This is a favorite uh, mug from the Disney store in New York that we did many years ago. Uh, I even get gifts that way. So the kids are always giving me uh, coffee gifts. My son in high school was a barista at Starbucks. So I started getting Starbucks Christmas ornaments and things like that. But of course, uh, my love for coffee doesn't just extend to the beverage itself, but also into the realm of collectibles. So this morning, we're gonna take a look at some uh, Disney themed coffee paraphernalia. All right, so here we are uh, with my collection of uh, Disney Store film mugs. And um, I don't believe they're actually doing this product line anymore, but the fun part for me was that um, these are projects that I got to work on the product design when I was at the Disney Store, in addition to just loving them and buying them as we went along. So uh, I currently have um, 15 of the mugs uh, from a range of films going all the way back to uh, Snow White. Uh, and the last mug I bought was uh, her, uh, Tarzan. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time talking about all of these individually, as well as some of the broader issues regarding the manufacturing and design of the mugs. So uh, let's take a little closer look at some of them individually. All right, well, let's start with our first two, because I think these are gonna be a pretty good demonstration. And I wanna first talk a little bit about the packaging. Uh, so in my job at the Disney Store, I helped lead the design of the packaging, the international packaging. And we had various standards for regular packaging and what we call promotional or commemorative packaging. So uh, first up, the, the oldest of the bugs would be the Snow White. And you can see here, we're using a white background with a little uh, grayed back Disney heads. Uh, we do speak in four languages because we had quite a few stores in Europe at that time, but here at the corporate offices uh, we were designing, there's always the brand band along the bottom that calls out the Disney store. And of course the barcodes and other things required legally. Now by comparison, you see this uh, Dumbo mug and it is not using this, it's using a similar structure in terms of the brand band band at the bottom, uh, photographic on the front, and then uh, logo and other languages on the sides. But here, we still have the film logo or a custom logo, but a different graphics packaging. And so why did we do that? Well, because at various points in time, um, particularly in the days of the VHS tapes, Disney would have a lot of different products when they would re-release a particular film. So in the case of Dumbo at that time, it was the uh, it was a film anniversary and we were re-releasing. So here is a vintage catalog from uh, 1996. And inside we can see that Dumbo was celebrating uh, its 55th anniversary of the release of the film. And so here you're seeing in this uh, catalog pages uh, some of the commemorative products that we developed that time. It was a big adult business with lots of uh, collectibles, uh, figurines, bells, plates, uh, Limoges boxes, uh, you name it. But we had sort of everyday product as well. So of course we would have done some updated toys. Here's uh, Timothy the mouse as a plush. I don't have other things right now to look at, but that's the general idea as to why then certain packages had this commemorative artwork on the outside. And you'll see that as we go through the product line, which ones were kind of in everyday packaging and which ones may have had a special promotion behind them. So let's take a moment now and then we're gonna take a look inside and see what's happening with the mugs themselves. All right, let's take a look inside and see uh, the mugs themselves. So again, the packaging is just your basic uh, corrugate laminated box, but on the inside then is the mug itself. And usually we're trying to pick uh, a key scene with characters that people will recognize because of course it's a souvenir of the film and their film going or film video experience. So here we have uh, Snow White shown with the evil queen and then behind her of course we see the seven dwarves coming out of the woods theoretically to help rescue her and their concern. Uh, this was done, the process is uh, like a dye transfer if you've ever done uh, iron-ons to a t-shirt. It's a it's a reverse dye where the artwork is printed first on a film and then it's uh, adhered to the mug and, and fired in the kiln and the inks from the transfer transfer the inks from the from the dye transfer onto the mug itself and become a, a baked or hardened if you will. 
Okay, so there's some white. Now let's take a look at Dumbo. Uh, in some cases, we're using original art from the film, or in other cases, a special illustration is created. Uh, this is a scene that is reminiscent of actions from the Dumbo film, but was not actually a scene in the film, because here we do see uh, Dumbo flying with the magic feather that the crows gave him to help him, and there's Timothy riding up on top. And then as we turn the mug around, we can, of course, see an aerial view of the circus and the train down below, and of course, uh, the, the circus activities itself. So, uh, here we'll take a look at uh, the skip. Christmas gift. So this was uh, a Christmas gift from my daughter, Grace, who uh, is my sidekick here on this special project. Uh, so here, of course, we see Belle and the Beast and Cogsworth and the air and Mrs. Chip, uh, Mrs. Potts and Chip, her old son. Uh, again, some fun, fun over there. All right. Now Lion King, the big, we'll lose that tag, put that back in the box. Lion King, of course, a classic film. And here, uh, you know, there was a lot of very deep uh, psychological themes in the movie. Don't forget who you are, people being trauma, you know, some of the animals being traumatized. And uh, we have this uh, revelation moment where uh, Rafiki is uh, pointing out Mufasa uh, to Simba and reminding him of who he is in this beautiful, kind of very emotional scene from the film takes place in the jungle. Really not a lot of other characters shown on this one, but here we also, on the packaging, uh, we did the logo in multiple languages as well around the side, so you kind of see that there. Then I'll keep going here. All right, uh, Pocahontas, uh, another uh, big project I worked on. We spent a couple, uh, a few weeks ago going through some of the videos of the style guy for Pocahontas. This is a very uh, fun and majestic moment. This is not really a scene from the film, but certainly symbolic of uh, Pocahontas and John Smith sort of being the bridge uh, between uh, Radcliffe and the, and the uh, Englishman and then uh, her father, Chief Powhatan, and all the other friends of their tribe. And this, of course, also celebrates um, the color of the wind. And there's a great quote in the back, the earth is filled with voices that will guide you. So a nice uh, commemorative saying there. And again, a very beautiful, very majestic rendering there on that mug. All right, let's take a look here now at, uh, here's Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, somewhat of a not highly favored film because it was pretty serious, but they did introduce a lot of humor into it. So of course, next up, Hercules, another film that I really enjoyed. And we have a lot of toys from Hercules. And so again, uh, we see the custom logos that were designed with packaging inside of the box. Uh, of course, we see, um, Hercules and Meg uh, right, riding on uh, their friend Pegasus. Uh, we see Philoctetes flying behind his dad Zeus. And uh, again, Hades, another great character with a little sidekicks, Pain and Panic, down below. So again, I, I a very funny film, I think, and beautiful music. I love the gospel theme music in that. And then the last uh, mug from our collection is uh, Hercules. Excuse me, Hercules, Tarzan. Saying. So we do see Tarzan himself, and then really uh, just Tantor and Turk. Is lots of great mugs and a fun, fun, a fun, fun collection. All right. Well, that wraps up our coffee adventures for today. Uh, more fun to come as we continue to dig through the archives and see what else is down there. 
But appreciate your joining and uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and then follow us on Facebook and Instagram. So happy coffee, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.